Digital Transformation in the Middle East. Hi everyone, um, I'm so honored to be here and I'm honored to be here to share with you just a little bit of knowledge um, from my point of view when it comes to being a techpreneur. So I remember around a couple of years ago, I watched um, His Highness, the ruler of the UAE, um, talking about celebrating the last barrel of oil. The attitude toward the, towards the word celebration is what captured my heart because he didn't say, oh, it's sad, it's the last barrel of oil. He said, we're celebrating. Now, when an economy realizes that something so important and that has contributed to the economy of the UAE is not gonna be there anymore. That economy, that country has to prepare for that shift. How do we prepare the economy to celebrate the last barrel of oil yet sustain an economy that's diverse and working and growing? So after listening to him saying that, we all know that a country doesn't prepare for something like this in a week, in a few days, in a month, in a year, in 10 years, in 20 years. They have been preparing for that for such a long time. Now, when a country faces something like this, they have to work, to work towards diversifying the economy and finding different resources in the economy that can balance the economy after the oil is gone. And that's what the, the UAE is doing. Now, one of the movements that has have been happening in the Middle East is that there is a huge digital transformation and everybody wants to move to technology and move forward with technology. Now, the pandemic showed us that, uh-uh, you need to hurry toward that, towards that transformation. It accelerated the shift that the whole world was doing towards and moving towards uh, digital transformation and it boosted it because we couldn't leave the house, we couldn't do anything, so there had to be other solutions um, with tech that can solve the economical problem that we're having. Now, when governments want to move towards a digital transformation, they aim for accelerating and diversifying the economy, um, econ economic sustainability, and then improving the satisfaction of the citizens. These are like important key points that all countries do. Now, if you see the Middle East is focused on AI, robotics, artificial intelligence, and even cloud, there's a lot of movements from the Middle East towards that. And the reason why the Middle East is moving faster than anybody else is because we have a huge resource that's gonna be scarce very soon. Now, is there challenges when an economy wants to move towards um, a digital transformation? There is a lot of challenges. Some of the challenges are the complexity of technology, okay? Another is setting the infrastructure, funding, guidance, data management, um, legacy systems, a lot of things. It's risky to take your economy and to shift it towards a digital transformation, extremely risky. But only the economies who are willing to take that risk are the ones that will thrive and survive and they will learn from their failures as they go because every, anyone can fail. Failure is something that happens but it's also a step towards learning and growing. So there's a lot of challenges. Now are there advantages towards uh, the digital transformation? 100%. It helps companies cut costs it helps companies improve efficiency and productivity, and it also helps companies communicate with everyone around the world. And we all know that companies that embrace technology and transformation digitally are the companies that are resilient to crisis. And this is why governments are jumping on that transformation, and it's very important. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of background on my story. So, I started as a fashion designer at the age of 15. 20 years after that, I realized after going through like a, a spiritual journey and understanding myself and who I am and my purpose, I realized that I was loving my job, not jobbing my love. So I was loving being a fashion designer because this is what was expected from me from society. 
a woman should be doing female um, things in female industries. And I always say the mind is like tofu. Whatever you marinate it in, it becomes. So this is why my mind was marinated in culture and upbringing and how women are supposed to be doing this and that. But after 20 years of being a fashion designer, I said, uh-uh, I'm not doing that anymore. Sure, it was making money, it was great, but I was like, it's enough. And then I went into technology completely, and I embraced technology. And right now, I'm, I don't love my job, I job my love. This is exactly what I want to be doing. Now, how did I get into technology? I remember I was attending um, an, an event in, L, in Los Angeles related to technology. This is in 2015. And they were talking about tech, and they had speakers and all that and everything. And I was sitting there, maybe I was interested, maybe it's the free food, I have no idea, I was just there. So I was sitting down and this guy goes on stage and he says, technology and robotics are going to replace humans in a better way and then humans might not even be useful anymore, we're not useful. And this just hit me deep and I was like, no. Technology is supposed to boost humans and support humans, not take over what humans do. So that's the first thing the guy said that really bothered me. Then he goes into, but you know, technology is a man industry. And I was like, oh, no, he did not just say that. <laughs> so six months later, I opened a tech company in LA and I hired that man to work for me in my company. And just to let you know, I don't come from a tech background. I don't come from anything related to tech. And I realized that people who think they lack the knowledge and the experience, that they don't belong in a certain industry. But knowledge is for free, it's everywhere. And the only limitation you have is the limitation you have within your mind because I'm the type of person that says, okay, I ain't got no education or I ain't got no experience but I can learn, I can find out. So it's the attitude that makes an entrepreneur an entrepreneur. It's not just a great idea. So I started the tech company and as a leader, because I don't believe in management, I believe in leadership. If I'm the smartest person in the room, then I'm in the wrong room. So what I decided to do is I went and I started researching about technology. Even with research, I had no clue what I was doing. I hired a couple of people that were amazing, smart, sharp, and they taught me everything that I need to know about technology and the tech industry. And that's where leadership is important. It's not about the I, 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 it's about the we, we, we. And they helped me understand and learn how to be an entrepreneur when it comes to the tech industry. And that's how I started my journey. And this was not the only story where I did something that I had no knowledge in. I remember, once I was sitting with a chef and he told me, you cannot be a, a restaurant entrepreneur or have a restaurant unless you're a chef or you're into the industry. And that really got me angry. And I ended up opening a restaurant a year later and hired that guy as well. I keep hiring the people who limit my, my, uh, my view on life. So I hired him and I did it. But do you know how I found out about restaurants? I Googled and I found a blog by a mom, it's not even a legit website, a blog that said, these are the steps to opening a restaurant. And then I hired the teams to teach me. So if you're into tech, but you're scared because you feel like I ain't got the experience, I ain't got the knowledge, there are smarter people out there that can do this, then you're in the complete wrong mindset. Knowledge is free, Google is there, People are all around you. If you open up and you're vulnerable about what you need and you ask, you will receive. Ask and you shall receive. That's how life works. And if you want to be in tech and you're in the UAE or the Middle East, then you are in the right place at the right time because being a tech entrepreneur in the UAE, it makes it easier because the movement towards uh, digital transformation is part of the country's agenda. It's part of the country's vision and mission. So it makes it easier for me and to be accepted, understood, and explored because I exist in a place where they want this to grow, they want this to boom. So a fashion designer, to a restaurant, to a marketing agent, to so many things that I've done in my life, 
technology was the hardest, but it was worth the, the, the ride, it was worth the experience, and any of you can do it. I am good in doing business and creativity. I'm not good in implementing the business because I have dyslexia. So I know and I'm aware of my weaknesses. I find people that complete me, not compete with me, that complete me, that can do the things that I can do. But sometimes the ego limits you from exploring all these things. If I'm smart with numbers, you're smart with marketing, amazing. If I'm smart with, with creativity and you're smart with getting things done, amazing. Find people that could complete your vision and bring your vision to life. Digital transformation is the it right now. It's the future. And I think one more reason why I became a tech entrepreneur is because I wanted to be an ethical tech entrepreneur. I didn't want robots and AI to take over humans. I wanted to support humans. So having more people in the industry with the right mindset can make the whole industry a safer environment. So if you're interested, I am available. If you want help, if you want support, I believe that that is, we keep taking from life a lot, but we have to give back at a certain point. And I, I believe in the act of service. So I'm reachable. If anybody wants to talk about technology, if you're looking for, I have an investment fund. So if you guys want a fund, funds or investments or support, or even just friendly advice, feel free to reach out. But, and I don't want anything in return. The only thing I want from you guys is to do it for someone else. That's it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh,